August 2002, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Honorable members, it gives me great pleasure to address both houses of parliament at this first meeting after the general elections. I extend my warm greetings to all of you. The general elections which have concluded recently have shown to the world the success of the democratic system of government adopted in the country since independence. At this important stage in the history of the country as well as the history of the world, our first task should be to give a clean and efficient administration. Another important matter to which I would like to draw your attention is electoral reforms. We have been talking about this subject from time to time, but no government has taken any major step to bring about suitable amendments to the election laws during the last few years. The object of such a law will be to get rid of money power and to bring in accountability in the case of political parties so that the elections may be conducted in a free and fair manner. The new government will take necessary steps in this direction in consultation with all political parties. On this occasion, it would be proper for me to point out that the government will always try to maintain the honor and independence of the judiciary. I would assure you on behalf of the government that all efforts will be made to reduce the pendency of cases in the courts throughout the country by filling up the vacancies and by proper use of modern technology. Regarding the question of center-state relationship, the government will take into consideration all the studies and reports made in this respect and in consultation with the state governments take necessary steps in order to settle all disputes between the states in matters of common interest. We are happy to note that the economic reforms of the past five years have achieved some amount of success. However, as you are aware, the speed with which we are moving is not much when compared with our requirements. This government would give personal attention to this matter and speed up the reforms while maintaining the basic framework of a sound economic policy. The economic development of a country in any part of the world can be maintained at a steady rate only if the external loans of the government are limited to the minimum. As far as this matter is concerned, I do hope that you will be aware that the existing borrowings of our country are now very high. In this connection, attention will also be paid to the aspect of expenditure by the government which is increasing day by day. The government will take all necessary steps to reduce the loan burden and also to reduce the expenditure to the maximum extent possible so that we may be able to invest more money in the development schemes for the people. The government will also study the investment made by the state in the public sector undertakings so that each rupee invested by the government may be put to proper use. On this occasion, I would like to inform both the houses that the government are going to bring about reforms in the corporate sector also. Suitable change will therefore be made in the company law and land ceiling laws to ensure full use of our resources so that our industry may be able to meet the competition from other parts of the world. At this important time, this house will have the great honor of taking this country to the next century. Thank you. Letter from Gopal and Company Limited, Salem to Mrs. Bhaskar and Sons Limited, Chennai. Dear Sirs, this is with reference to your kind enquiry about the latest price list and catalog of our products. You may be aware of the increase in the transport charges and the increase in the cost of the raw materials. 
since we are dealing in glass articles we will have to face the risk of damage during transport we are sorry to inform you that our factory remained closed for two months last year and this has resulted in the decrease in turnover compared to the previous year we are therefore not in a position to supply the materials at the existing rates and are forced to increase the price by 5 percent we request you kindly to bear with this increase we also request you to take all steps necessary to market our products in this part of the country and we are willing to pay the necessary charges that may be incurred by you in this regard on this occasion we would like to place on record our gratitude for your support and help which has helped us to tackle our difficulties we look forward to the pleasure of your continued support in the years to come we enclose here with our latest price list and catalog we would be glad to send you any other information that you may require yours faithfully